Hi, my name is Rachel Abo, and today I'm going to show you how to send an automated email to your Microsoft form responses. So this allows you that after an individual or a person fills your form, the person gets an automated message on their email. For instance, you want to share you want to share some more information about your event or you want to share the link. Maybe it's an online event or a physical event. You want to share the address with that individual. So you can easily do all of this and make it a personalized email. No matter how many, how many persons or individuals have filled your form, either 100, either 200, either 60, they all get a personalized email. So first we're going to, so first we're going to create our form and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. I'm just easily going to give this form a name. And you can see you can give this is optional. You can give your events a name like you can give your event a description to tell the person OK, what this event is about and the reason why they are registering for the event. So we are just going to skip that and just create the information we need from the. I'm just going to go ahead and. Go for email address. So you can add more information, but we're just going to be using just two of these. So if you can see this way is going to look like when they try to register for the event and I have to click on collect response in order to share the event. Copy. So after creating the form, we're going to go to the next step to be able to create for us to be able to create an automated First, be able to send an automated email. So I'm just going to click on the app launcher and go to Power Automate. So I'm going to wait for this to load. So we're doing this. I don't have to. We're doing this. I don't have to send each person who filled the form. I don't have to send them manually. That okay. Hi, hi, Rachel. Thank you for registering for this event. If I have like hundred persons who have registered for my event, I have to send them one by one. But with automating my Microsoft form, I can. They just once filling the form, they just get a response. So I'm just going to create. Click on create. Then next. Click on automated. When a new response is submitted, that's my trigger. So I'm going to go ahead to pick my form. Which is YouTube registration. I'm going to look for that YouTube events. Then the next thing is to pick an action. Which is get response detail. Get response details and just going to look for the form. Then for my response ID, this like all the information that has been filled in the form, this brings all the information that has been filled in the form, the name, the email, if there was gender, if there was phone number, it just brings everything. So I'm going to go ahead and move on with send an email V2. An action. Send an email video. And there's one good thing about this is that it does not matter what the person has used to fill the form. If the person has used Gmail, Hotmail, and also Outlook, the person will get an email. So I'm just going to add dynamic content. I'm going to add the email address that was added to the form. Then I'm going to just give the give it a name. So this is just like when you are trying to if you're trying to send an email, if you're trying to send an email to someone, you have to give that email subject. 
So that is what I just did. I just gave the email a subject so that the person will be able to know that, OK, I actually registered for this event. So that is what the YouTube event means. So I'm going to make this a the body, the parts where the message is. I'm going to make it a personalized um, a personalized image, a personalized message that if different persons feel the form, maybe Grace, Rachel, Blessing, Emmanuel, no matter how who the person is or the person's name, the email gets personalized. It gets like hi Rachel, hi Blessing, stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead. Thank you for registering for the YouTube event. Do not forget to subscribe. Thanks. We got. Rachel. So I'm just going to click on this and there's one thing you can notice here from the importance, the importance of the email. Is it high? Is it low? Is it normal? So I'm just going to go for high to make it more. So the person, the individual will know how important the email is. I'm just going to go for high. Then I'm going to save this. And after saving, I'm going to wait for it to load. Then I'm going to test manually. And as you can see, to see it work now, submit a new response to the selected form. So I'm just going to go to collect response, shorten URL and copy that, okay? So I'm going to fill the form. Then submit. So I'm going to check if I actually got the email. So you can see. Hi, Rachel Rabal. Thank you for registering for the YouTube event. Do not forget to subscribe. So and then you can also notice this. You can also notice this. This message was sent with high importance. So the great thing about this is that no matter how. So the great thing about this is that no matter the email you are using, no matter the email you use to respond to the form, that they're definitely going to get a response after filling the form. And the email is going to be personalized. If you, if in your Power Automate flow, you use first name, it's going to show, hi, Rachel, thank you for registering for the event and any other, any other information you want to pass. Thank you very much for watching this video.